Okay, we're going to go through the report group called Accountant and Taxes. This is not something that is available just in the Accountant's Edition. This is in every edition. And if you have access to the Accountant and Taxes reports according to your enterprise settings, or if you have access to uh, pertinent financial reports in QuickBooks Premier, um, then you would have access to this as well. So we have our adjusted trial balance and our trial balance. Okay, so in QuickBooks, when you do a journal entry, you can mark it as an adjusting entry so that we can see the adjusted trial balance there. Okay, you have your GL report, uh, which just shows you everything that's happened in your file, everything that's hit your journal, journal your uh, general ledger since whatever period you want to give it. Okay. You have your uh, transaction detail by account report. You can run a report on just adjusting journal entries. That's great for accountants. Or if you're recording your accountant's changes, you can run a report to make sure that the adjusting journal entry report ties out to what they gave you as far as what should be adjusted. You can also run a report for all your journals that you've created. So I can click on this and it shows me um, all the journal information anytime it's affected the GL and it doesn't give it you know, it sorts it. It doesn't give it by type or by specific account number. All right. These reports here are the most important, I feel, in the program. So we have our audit trail, which is always on in QuickBooks now. It used to be an option. But you can turn the audit trail or you can run the audit trail report at any time. It's really nice because it, you can see in here Okay, transactions entered or modified by admin. So this is the, the user who did this transaction. The other thing that is really exciting to be able to see is it shows you here's the latest. So this is what is in the file currently. Okay, so this is what the file says. And then it shows you previously what was in the file. So different previous versions. And notice it shows me the different versions here. I have a, a prior version even before that, okay? And it goes prior, prior. It shows you all the prior. So you can see all the changes that happened to that transaction. So if you're troubleshooting, trying to figure out what happened, why my bank balance is off, why, who deleted this, this is where you come to figure it out in the audit trail. Okay, so I can see it's bold, what has actually changed. So you can see those reports there. What changed was that we had the inventory offset account now versus having the job or uh, cost of goods sold account. Um, so we can see what changed and who changed it, okay? Now, another important report in here, we have our closing date exception report. So what that's going to tell us is if you've set a closing date and someone has done a transaction or entered a transaction and had to enter the password um, and posted it, they had the password, it posted, um, and if so it affected transactions or affected your reports prior to that closing date, it would show up on this closing date exception report. You also have your customer credit card audit trail here. So it'll tell you all of the information as far as uh, processing of your credit cards. Okay, you've got your voided and deleted transactions summary as well as voided and deleted transactions detail report. Again, on this, uh, we can run it. I don't have any deleted transactions. Let's go ahead and enter a deleted transaction. I'm going to delete this. Okay. Now I look on my report here and refresh it. It shows me the deleted transaction. What's nice about this, again, I can't double click on it. Notice I don't have that little zoom micro, uh, magnifier glass on it, magnifying glass on it, but uh, I can come in here and see what what was going on. So here's the transaction, the original transaction, here are the accounts that it hit. And I, you know, the account, it was deleted, but I can always go in, run this, print it out and re-enter it if it wasn't supposed to be deleted. You can also see who it was done by. Um, notice I don't have the who in the columns here. I can customize this and put in, check mark off the last modified by, and then I'll add that in here. Uh, and then also you can see when, when was this changed? Okay, so it gives me the information on when it was deleted. So you can go in there, okay? A lot of people don't know that QuickBooks has that audit trail always on. It is a great added feature, you know, so that you can make sure that security in your system, people are doing the things they're supposed to be doing um, and do some quick reviews. 
Okay, continuing in here, accountant and taxes, we have the transaction list by date. Okay, we have our account listing, our fixed asset listing, and then of course our income tax preparation summary in detail. And that is based off of how we have our chart of accounts set up, of course. All right, so that's a, just a quick run through of your accountant and tax taxes reports.